I would like to share this memorial video dedicated to the life of Michael Joseph Parks, father of Michael Adam Parks, Tiffany Marie Parks Hash, and myself, Timothy Rex Parks. Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. Jesus says, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Revelation chapter 21, verse 4 says, And God shall wipe away all the tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain for the former things have passed away. And the first verse of Isaiah chapter 57 claims that the righteous shall perish and no man layeth it to heart. Merciful men are taken away, but none considering that the righteous is taken away from the evil to come. Michael Joseph Parks played many roles in many people's lives. He was a child, student, patient, then grew to be a leader, a father, and a mentor. I consider him to be one of my first and favorite teachers, holding my hand and jumping off a boat to teach me to swim, bringing home a 50cc Honda motorcycle to teach me to ride a bicycle, while the training wheels ended up being a mistake and caused me to drive straight into a thorn bush. He was able to lead me to be a state champion BMX racer. Dad signed up as an assistant scout leader and did not hesitate to get the helicopters out to find me and another scout that had fallen back on a hike in the mountains, or to get the fire department to rescue half the troop from the muddy swamp that sucked us all down to our waists. And I'll never forget the time on our survival weekend that he purchased two meat rabbits from a farm, inserted them into our scout-made snares so that we would have something to eat. He taught me to play hard from dirt bikes in the California desert, surviving the wild Appalachian mountains, BMX racing, to my lifelong addiction to 4x4s and dirt. But more importantly, he taught me to work hard. I helped him build a deck in the alley behind Lori's apartments when I was six, and he had me tearing off shingles before I hit teenager status. He sacrificed himself for the people he loved. He always provided for his family, even if it meant spending 12-hour days on a hot roof. Mike touched the lives of many people. The ladies loved his charming approach to romance, many claiming he was a true Southern gentleman. The men were amused by his smart-ass comments, but appreciated his problem-solving abilities. I can imagine him quoting Deadpool, The worst part about cancer isn't what it does to you, but what it does to the people you love. 
I am deeply thankful for those who cared for, loved, and respected him. Wanda Coleman and the staff at Hospice of the Valley gave him feelings of comfort and safety, allowing him to depart with dignity. We all know he had a good heart. He meant well. I can tell you that, much like many of us, his relationship with God was good enough. He was given the opportunity to visit my house in the hour of his passing, so I can only surmise that I will see him again in heaven. See you later, alligator.